What's going on guys? Professor Chaos here and welcome back to the interior design series. We just finished the bedroom one so now we are going on to the bathrooms. I have a couple different bathrooms for you but um, we'll start off with the most simple and go to the I guess more complex uh, here. We've got some smooth sandstone as well as sandstone um, with some wood half blocks to make shelves on that side and some wood half blocks over here for the countertop as well as a cauldron. I use cauldrons in I think every single bathroom because they look the best <laughs> um, as well as a mirror. This is a custom painting in the texture pack link in the description. Um, here we have the toilet so using cobblestone half blocks and a button and then a upside down stair right here so you would put like toilet paper or something there. And that's, so it's behind a little privacy wall. I like putting little privacy walls in the bathroom. It just, I don't know, makes it look a little bit uh, more professional. <laughs> Here's a shower using some lapis lazuli as the shower bottom. And then we've got some levers as shower heads with upside down stairs as well to put your shampoo and soap and stuff. And that's the shower. Um, and that is actually that bathroom. So pretty simple, but um, just some different concepts for you. Moving on to the next bathroom. This one's a little bit lower ceiling. Um, the shower, I separated the shower with some smooth sandstone instead of having just wood all the way around. Oh, is it raining? Oh yeah, I've got Optifine on so you can't see the rain. Um, I'll turn that off. All right, so um, here's a shower. Uh, we've got some water in there just to make it look more showery, but we're using <laughs> um, glass panes and they work awesome because you don't have to put a pressure plate to keep the water back. If you just use the corner, then the water will stay inside and you can still go inside it. So that is awesome. Um, over here, we have a bathtub using smooth sandstone um, with a little lever to be the faucet and then um, some water inside the tub and I always if I have windows in the bathroom I always put them up above um, above the second level so that it's more private because you don't want people peeking in your bathroom <laughs> um, another same toilet just using a different um, block I think that's gray wool or light gray wool and then a little lamp in the corner and same deal with the um, counter except I filled in below as well. So that is this bathroom, fairly simple. Um, this way, if we go in this bathroom, I this one I used in my underwater house and it's still lightning outside, that's fun. Anyway, um, <laughs> we've got pistons for the countertop. Um, in my texture pack, the pistons don't have any of the little uh, metal doohickeys on the side, <laughs> whatever you call them, um, so that it makes it look more like countertop-ish, but it will work in most any texture pack. Oh, I don't have any water in these, but you got the sinks on the side and then a mirror all the way across, and then another privacy wall, but using a half block on top this time, so that it's just a little bit different level. And then um, the toilet on the side, I used a lever this time, um, you can't do too many things with toilets. Um, there is one other toilet design, but this is basically it. <laughs> um, the shower is a very large shower, um, two by four, with a little window on the side. And then you've got the same shampoo soap thing and the shower heads. You could put water in here, but you can do whatever you want. And that lightning is just going to keep interrupting us. I... One thing about 1.3 is we get interrupted a lot with rain, um, but we have a bathtub slash jacuzzi over in the corner. It's kind of um, hidden, sort of. Um, if you go over to the side, you've got um, a just a little alcove for the bathtub shower thing. Uh, not shower, uh, jacuzzi. I put glowstone underneath to keep it light in here without having actual lights, and then I chose a different wood to just kind of stand out. And that's that bathroom. I use dark wood as well for these walls, if you can already tell. <laughs> um, across here, this one is a half block bathroom. You 
can do a few different things in here. This you can't do the cauldrons because they'd be down too low. But I did use upside down stairs and half blocks for the countertop with some mirrors up above. And then some cauldrons on the side here with leaves above just for plants on the side. And then here's that other toilet design. This one's a far better, I think, toilet design since it's kind of functional. Kind of. <laughs> um, and it just looks a little bit more toilet-like. So it's a cauldron with a hatch placed on top. And then a stair block with its back facing that cauldron. As well as a whatever block you want. I put cobblestone up above and then a button. This tour is all ominous with the lightning. We got some paintings on the side. Um, I used wool and wood for this bathroom. And then over here, um, so I used sandstone and wood on the floor, but over here, a sandstone block right here just makes a nice low down uh, bathtub, again with the little faucet in the corner. But I really like that bathtub better just because it's at a better level. Half blocks kind of make interesting shapes and you can do a few different things. Um, the shower here, I use some um, wood blocks underneath with some glass just to make a little opening um, and then these buttons I don't know maybe press them to turn on the shower or something <laughs> um, so that's a different kind of shower using actual glass blocks rather than glass panes and it's very open and see-through um, but that's that bathroom I think I have one more bathroom to show you this one is for all the girls watching it's pink <laughs> um, I try to keep something for both genders in each video. I know there are girl watchers out there. Watchers, that sounds creepy. Um, <laughs> we have a redwood floor to go with the pink walls. And then I have birchwood um, as the countertop with a cauldron. And then a little lamp in the corner. And then the toilet is just at the end of the counter um, space with a little shelf on the side. I, I did put some wood in back behind that shelf to make it look a little bit more complete but you can if you don't have a too thick wall then it's it works just fine without um, but here is another different bathtub design usually you don't have these blocks on the corners um, so you just uh, here let's see I'll show you right quick um, sandstone you would just place like this so that you've got that little bathtub poking up but I completed it like that so that I could have this interesting I guess you could say shower curtain over it um, so that's just fences with some fence gates and then um, we've got a little shower head up there so this is a bathtub shower combo and then that's basically it you've got so these are stairs facing the backs facing this if you can already tell and you can use all sorts of different types of stone this is a uh, sandstone you can use cobblestone anything and again the windows are up above the second block so that it stays private but you still have a window and that's basically this bathroom kind of plain with the pink walls and stuff but i thought i'd try something different as well as it's it's longer and skinny and then the bathtub is just at one end rather than in a corner or something so yeah Hopefully you guys learned a few things. That's all I have for you in this video. Um, but hopefully you learned a few things. Maybe um, got a few ideas of different bathroom layouts. But um, <laughs> it was fun reviewing these. Uh, there's a few different designs that I, I forget to use. And so it's kind of nice for me to go through these and refresh my memory with all the different types of things you can put in a bathroom. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and hope to see you in the next um, interior design video.